Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage, season 15 of... Double episode <laughs> premiere. <laughs> Two episodes in one week. Oh my God, they are not around. So the queens had to do a talent show. Then the look on the main stage is... Signature drag. Who is she? Uh, and what is she giving? Who is uh, she and what is she giving? The entrance is the entrance and you do make your first impressions there, but really it is all about that first runway. I mean, come on. The adrenaline rush of that first walk. Every time you go out to the runway, it is a special moment. What is your Category is, who is she? First to the stage, Irene Dubois. I like it's nice. it. It's well put together. The hair is sculptured and it's been shellacked within an inch of that Her lace. Yeah. It looks almost like ribbon candy with that acid uh -huh. green going through it. Uh -huh. And I think that it looks great with this costume. I love the shape of it. And she used Geiger as a reference, mm -hmm. which I definitely saw. She's definitely giving alien. This is very alien -esque. That's what she is. She's alien. She is an alien. She's alien. I love the science fiction aspect to it. The makeup is gorgeous. I love everything except the panty. The panty. I yeah. do not like the panty. It should just, it should have gone a little, like it should have been solid or something. I wish there were just like maybe pleather thong. I don't really enjoy the space between her corset and her panty. I just like things a little bit smoother in that area. I love a thigh high, I love a platform, I love a hooker heel. Give it all to me. She is Irene, not of this world, Dubois. Not of this world. Two. It's a two. Next to the stage, we bring Lux Noir London. Yeah. I love those colors together. Absolutely. The puff sleeve, the historical reference in the in the corsetry, the brilliant hat. You know, I love a thing on the head always. But really, it's the colors against her skin tone. She looks sexy. She looks like a fairy tale. Yeah, it's that color combination. Tells me a lot about her. This is a girl who really enjoys color. It is beautiful, and I do love, love, love those sleeves mm. with that cape dragging in the back. That's, I think, my favorite Absolutely. part. Absolutely. Because that by itself would just be the look. I don't care for the stirrups, though. The corseting is beautiful, but really, as you said, that flouncy, beautiful puff sleeve cape, it's feminine, it's sexy, it's fantasy. And I think that's, that's who she is. She's sexy, feminine fantasy. Bringing to the stage, sexy, feminine fantasy. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, two. <laughs> two. And next we bring to the stage, Aura Mayari. She does look beautiful, but I mean, this is really similar to the look that she wore in her entrance. This looks like it could be what was hiding underneath that coat. <laughs> and then she just put her hair up into a ponytail and said, okay, let's go to the main stage. She looks beautiful. The mug is gorgeous. I actually love this hair more than, the, than her entrance look, but not saying much about who she is. I feel when you're gonna wear gauntlets and you're gonna have these warrior type shoulder pieces, why not wear a boot? Why not wear something a little more substantial on the bottom than just a pump with an ankle strap? But then there's that skirt. It's like there's so many different things going on. Mm -hmm. I do not quite get that she knows mm -hmm. what she is. You're reading my mind. Yeah. I think it's safe to have yeah. something black and shiny and the same hair. I think this is fine for me, but it's not anything that I'm like Gagatha Christie over. I think it's a two. Okay, boot. <laughs> Next we bring to the stage. Marsha, 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 Marsha. I like the glove. I do like the glove. Yeah, yeah. There are nice elements to this, but I'm just like, I, God, like this is the first runway. 
Okay, so we definitely knew who she was when she walked in, and we got the same type of look when she came <laughs> on the main stage. Just in a little I... different configuration. No, she's so cute and she's so pretty. I get it, and she knows it. So are we gonna gather that lavender is her signature color? She walked in in lavender, she's wearing lavender now. Mm -hmm. But then the little crushed velvet 1990s Delia's catalog tube top. Then the little pin of a rubber ducky. It's like, why isn't the, this rubber ducky like this big? Everything she's doing is like tiny, 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 tiny lashes, mm -hmm. tiny rubber ducky. This is the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. No, I, want want more. Her. I, I want more, I want more, I want more. I want more, Even if she was at a brunch or something and she came out and did this, I'd be like. I want to see sparkle. Throw some shine on this. Throw mm. a little extra highlighter on. Throw a little extra lash on. There's like so much I'm looking at that I'm like, where's the rest of it? I'm going to boot this. It's a boot. Next, we bring to the stage Anitra. I love the bodysuit. And mm -hmm. I love the corset with the cape on it. Mm -hmm. I'm an old school bitch where a bodysuit and a corset does a body good. Throw it on, let's go do brunch. However, I don't like the corset over the bodysuit. The shine, the shimmer, the metallicness of this bodysuit and then that matte corset over it kind of looks like two different things. Where I wish there was no corset. Mm -hmm. Or I wish there was no bodysuit. I don't like them together. I don't mind it. This is the exact amount of sparkle, sass, fierceness, drag, performance, look, and it says a lot about who she is. Sexy, spacey. I'm gonna give this look a toot. I'm gonna give it a boot. Okay. Next, we bring to the stage Malaysia Baby Doll Fox. Gorgeous. She's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> totally. The style of that hair and then that gown, it's giving me the Supremes, but like a modern take on the Supremes. And I love this gown, looks like it's got a harness built in to the gown. Mm hmm. And then the foxtails. I hope mm. she does foxtails with everything because that's kind of fierce if she does. She looks stunning. Absolutely. She's painted jewelry, body. Every single crisscross of that netting is hand rhinestone, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. A bunch of her sisters got together. They all smoked a fatty and just rhinestone the Said, house down on it. Bitch, they, I gotta go. She's clearly a pageant girl and I love it. I think she represents a huge, huge, huge demographic of drag queens in America. Right. She definitely is glamorous, beautiful, sexy, painted. She's in drag. She has no pretenses. She's like, I'm just gorgeous. And I'm yeah. over gorgeous things. And the foxtails, what a nice touch. It takes me to that time when I first started going to drag shows. Mm. There was that one bitch that walk out and you go, oh, e this is the bitch that you mm. lined up at the end of the stage to just hand money to. And she just stood there and moved her mouth mm. and grabbed dollar mm. bills. Yeah, it's a two. Absolute two. Next, we bring to the stage uh, Princess Poppy. I think she looks pretty. I'm more excited about what she's wearing now than when she first walked in. She definitely has a certain silhouette. She likes to be leggy. She likes a princess tutu idea. I actually really love the outfit. I can definitely see what she's giving. This is more, a little more exciting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. than what she did walk mm -hmm. in with. I'm, I'm definitely more excited about this. I, I think she looks pretty. I love that pump. I really love the hair, actually. I wish that the panty underneath wasn't like a regular, like period panty. It's very laundry day. I wish it had a ruffle on it, something where she could like boop, boop, dee doop, stick it up, you know, yeah. and she's like, she's talking about how it's showing off her ass crack. And I'm like, what are you showing off with a period panty? I think she's fun. I think she's feminine. But right now, I think she's predictable. It's, it's, it's a two. It's like, oh, it's a two. Okay, mm -hmm. it's a two. It's a two. Next, we bring to the stage Sasha Colby. Gagging! It's giving me Erte. It's giving me Sheen Sparkle. It's sexy. It's art. Don't touch. She's a vixen. That fabric on the skirt is unbelievable. It's liquid. Yeah. I'm also seeing Madonna Girlie show. I'm mm -hmm. seeing that early 90s references that were in fashion then. But um, what's going on with the foxtails? Or are those Malaysia baby doll foxes? I'm just kidding. I love it. She's like, this is a dress that I wore 10 years ago when I won Miss Continental. And I love the idea of bringing costumes that you've worn in the past. This is something that I've already been through. This is an accomplishment that I made. And she I'm gonna wear it again. That's what I'm talking about. I give this look a two. No, it's a two. 
Up next, we bring from Los Angeles, Selena S. Titties. I like the outfit. From the neck down, I'm into it. I love pants. I love a palazzo pant. I love denim. I wish there wasn't the pant. <laughs> the pant, I feel she's trying to do print of a bandana. I wish it was just that ribbed tank top, which mm -hmm. is what we call them now, almost shaped to like a dress. Mm -hmm. And then she had that denim shirt over it without the hat. What I hate about this is that bucket hat over the bouffant hairdo. <laughs> like it should translate more as bucket hat. Maybe with like a cool like hair with mousse, like an ombre with mousse hair. I see what she's giving and I'm okay with the outfit. It's just that hat and the hair is a touch distracting for me. I give it a boot. This is a two. Next we bring to the stage Amethyst. It's a complete look. The hair, everything matches. There's a feminine bow kind of ribbon story to it. This feels like a really good cosplay of drags. Let's find all the pieces on the yeah. internet, put it together. I'm gonna watch a tutorial and do my makeup. I actually like the tights of the bows going up the back. And then those ponytails. I wish there was more hair in the ponytail. Is it a beautiful look? Yes. Does she look great in it? Yes, but not surprised by it. It doesn't even tell me who she is. It is that thing that you were just speaking of where she went and saw, oh, I'm gonna take that mesh fabric mm -hmm. with rhinestones on all of the things. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it over a new illusion or panel and then throw some band-aids around it mm -hmm. that goes down one leg. This is her doing someone else's way. That doesn't resonate with me. I don't see who she is. I love seeing someone who says, no, this is the way I do it. And then everyone else starts doing it your mm. way. As I've seen from the entrances, there's not a lot of innovation that's happening. But I'm gonna toot it, cause she looks nice. I give it a boot. Up next, we bring Jax. I love that jacket. I love those boots. She's probably got feet small enough that she can buy boots anywhere. <laughs> totally, that's uh, how the boots came. She didn't glue those on, I don't no. know. And I do love that she's wearing a f zebra print bodysuit under mm -hmm. that loud, color blocked 1993 in living color fly girl outfit. 100, 100. I love the clashing of mm -hmm. the primary colors against the animal print. I'm not sure what the camera is about, but uh, my only thing that I would say is, you know, you should have put some stones on the boots too. Whatever, I'm being a raven right now, I'm being nitpicky. But no, I, no, cause you, yeah, 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 yeah. You see what I mean? Where if you did it, if you've done it here, why not here? Yeah. Because then it will, it will go, oh, drapes. those look like those, they go together. I mean, carpet drapes, carpet right? Carpet drapes. Carpet drapes. Oh, oh the, the bitch rhinestone the camera. Hey. Damn. Damn. <laughs> We I know mean, who she is. Mm -hmm. She's a risk taker. She's a round the way girl. It's a two. I think it's a two also. Next we bring to the stage Lucy LaDuca. She's saying that she's paying homage to Britney Spears. Why are you presenting an homage to somebody else? I want to see who you are. Yeah, it's done okay. I love that she cinches and has like mm. the, sh the shape. I love the skirt. There's things about this that I like, that mesh fabric with the rhinestones. One thing that really stands out to me with this is the thing that she prides herself most on, and that's the body. The shape of the body is exquisite. The pads, the cinched in waist, the giant titties, I love, love all that. It's just so gorgeous and sexy and feminine. It does feel a little bit like the dress is wearing her though. The collar, shoulder piece. It's like mm -hmm. it came out of a package with a costume. It's like, oh, flight attendant girl. It's draggy. It's very draggy. It is very draggy. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that I love, that she goes there with the drag. Mm -hmm. However, this is not giving me what I need. And mm -hmm. what I need to know is who is she? Mm -hmm. And this is not telling me who she is. This tell me she is a knockoff of someone else. Dang. I'm just being real. Mm -hmm. There it's it is. a toot. I give I it a two. Totally. It's okay. <laughs> two, two things can no, be. No, I do not give it a two. You know, I give, I give it a two. I give it a boot. I'm not mad at this. I am. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> You're so angry about it. You're yes, so angry. Man. Everything's gonna be okay. All right. Mistress Isabel Brooks. Oh. Love this that she chose the red as the cowboy because it gives me Mugler vibes, very too mm -hmm. funky video in the 90s. And it's Texas. I mean, for sake, yes, cowgirl. She is that girl. And she is painted. Mm -hmm. I do wish the hat were a little bigger. Mm -hmm. I feel it looks a little fascinator cowboy hat. 
Or she had one of those big foam ones, you know, those ones that are like, you know what I'm talking about, <laughs> yeah. the big ones. Uh huh. But everything else, I love. Gorgeous. I love that it's chaps Gorgeous. with the corset with the stars and then the fringe and the gloves. Mm -hmm. It's a two. She is a two for me. Next, we bring to the stage Robin Fierce. This looks like part of the collection that Lucy Laduga walked in. They look like they came from the same runway. Whenever I see a bodysuit and there's that detail along the bottom, mm -hmm. I want it to go all the way into the shoe. Mm -hmm. Or I want you to have a boot that covers that up. I do think she looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. I do love the hair. But mm -hmm. then she takes the skirt off and this thing looks like it's too baggy. It doesn't look like it fits her right. Mm, interesting. It mm. looks like it is a little baggy. It looks mm -hmm. like it might be somebody else's. I do like the skirt. I That's feel my favorite part about it. It's beautiful. It's skirt. I have a skirt fetish, so therefore I love the skirt. And that's the most exciting thing for me here. I love the icy blue. She looks like fresh. She'd be in a commercial with Lucy LaDuca for Altoids. It's a toot for me. I'm gonna give it a toot. Next we bring to the stage, Sugar. I love the shoes. I love the height of them. I love the color. Yellow canary, banana yellow, goldenrod. Just love the, the bright yellow. I love the corset, I love her shape, I love the little drape, again, skirt fetish, love the mm -hmm. drape skirt. I love her hair. She looks beautiful. But a lot of this looks like somebody else's It's super not surprising. Who is she? She is a queen who, again, likes to take from something else. But it's not Raven, this is her As far as we know, allegedly. I give Sugar a toot. Um, I, you know what, I'm gonna say a toot. Mm -hmm. Let's see what her twin sister Spice does. Pretty. <laughs> she looks really pretty. And her and her sister have decided to go on princess themes. I think that's cute. And you put the two of them together in a box and they look like a set. They said they were competing against each other, but it's like they both brought the same things just in different colors. Mm. I mean, the hair looks great, the makeup looks great, the accessories mm -hmm. are cute, mm -hmm. all the feathers are clean, they're still on there. But who is she? Oh, she's a f knockoff. It looks like just something someone else has already done. Girl, come on. <laughs> I wanna see who you are, not how you do something someone already did. It's hard to articulate and speak sometimes and say the things that I want to say, mm -hmm. but I'll say it in whale. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was whale. I think that was like, <laughs> I was getting like emu or something. It's a poop. <laughs> No, this is a toot for or me. Or two. It's a toot. I'll yeah, it a toot. it's a toot. Because she looks pretty. Trend alert! The white mesh. mesh. That's a mesh. Lots of it. Everyone's wearing it. It's a mishmash of mesh. Mishmash of mesh. Our, Our top, top two of the, the week, week is... Sasha, Sasha Colby! Yes! Bringing it back. back from 10 years ago, darling. Yes. Original, serving, mm. giving, telling us who you are. All right, we have episode three coming up Friday on MTV. And if you live outside of the US, Canada, or Australia, you can watch on WOW Presents Plus. Who is she? Who is she? <laughs> That's Whale, because I understood it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Bye, everyone. Bye.